Hello students, my name is Santosh Kumar Choudhury. I am here to teach you the 9th chapter of your NCIT textbook that is the some application of trigonometry on behalf of Odisha Adhas Vidal Sangathan. Here in this chapter we are going to the some number of concepts. Before going to the concepts, first I will just recall the concepts of the trigonometry or the idea about the trigonometry. What is this trigonometry? Trigonometry is nothing, it is a branch of mathematics which deals with the studies of triangles and mainly the right triangles and the relationship between the sides and angle between the sides, first of all. And second is uh, the ratios of the trigonometry. We all know what are the ratios, especially the ratio is the nothing but it is the relation between the angle and the side. And we know that there is six ratios which you have already known in the eighth chapter of your mathematics textbook and hence now we will go to the concepts of the application of trigonometry what are the concepts before going to the concepts first i will say some sub concept that is the horizontal line and vertical line what is this horizontal line and vertical line see if you just re, uh, recall the seventh chapter of your math mathematics textbook that is the coordinate geometry in the coordinate geometry you can just recall there is an some axis that is the x-axis and y-axis. This x-axis is a parallel line and y-axis also are the parallel lines. This x-axis is nothing but is a horizontal line and this y-axis is nothing but a vertical line. Next, next is the line of sight. What is the line of sight? Students, you might have feel when an any object might have crossed your head or it may fly on the sky that time you might have seen that object in such a way by changing your head position in that time the line joining to your eye to that object is called the line of sight let's take this is an observer or it you may you may be okay this is your position of eye let's take this is an object which is above your head the line joining to the position of, her, of your eye to this object is called the line of sight and this you may term as the this is the horizontal line now next we will move to the angle of elevation what is the angle of elevation here see this is an horizontal line I will write as the horizontal line. This is the line of sight. And the angle between these two is known as the angle of elevation. That means the angle between the horizontal line and the line of sight is known as the angle of elevation. Let's take the object is here. Then the line of sight is this one. The line of sight is this one because it is a line joining the position of your eye to this object. Then the, the angle between this horizontal line and this line of sight is known as the is known as the angle of depression. Is known as the angle of depression. To be to understand this one, I will take another one example. See students. This is a person who is standing in a, in a in near the signal and here another uh, another person who is a younger person is standing near another uh, opposite side of the signal. This is the position of I and he will be termed as the observer and this is the line, the straight line, this is the horizontal line and he wants to see, he wants to see him means uh, the line joining to the position of I to this observe uh, to this object is the line of sight and the angle between these two is the we can say in simply angle of depression in the same way if a if i will say if i will say this is a mountain and here you can see this uh, this is the mountain peak and this is the straight line this is a straight line the straight line will be termed as the is the height of the peak and here the position of the eye and he wants to see the peak 
then this is a line of sight and this is the horizontal line and this angle is known as the angle of elevation next we will see actually what is the need of this application of trigonometry you might have experienced you might have seen this is not a new concept for today's generation this is a older concept for us because in nearly 240 bc these are all are used and this is a why this is used and you have already seen if you are if you are observing any object which is in front of you you might take that that is the perpendicular to the ground it may be the mountain range or it may be the any tall building or it may be the a um, tree or it may be the any tower etc these are these all are treated as the a straight line and the po position of the the position of that object to you or to the observer is the distance between the is distance between the uh, is di distance between your observer and the object and the line joining is the line of sight means in not in not cell if you observe these all things if it is an any object and this is the observer or the position of the observer or the eye position of the observer this is the distance and this line joining is the line of sight then this will be a right triangle as it is a right triangle we can simply say here we can use the trigonometry then we can say this one by using this trigonometry we can we can calculate the distance between the observer and the object and the height of the object in the same way the angle of elevation or it may be the angle of depression this all are. and before completion of this video i would like to give one question okay in this question you uh, we will discuss this question in our next video now the question is if the ratio of of a rod or the height of a rod and its shadow is 1 is to root 3 then find the angle of elevation of sun to know this answer we have to wait for the next video and with this i am just closing my this video thank you all we will meet in our next video